Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam still kept receiving revelations from Angel Jibreel alayhi salam for around three years now. He was no longer afraid. Night and day, he would receive new commands from Allah. The fear he had felt from Laylatul Qadr had now disappeared. Muhammad knew he had to spread the message of Islam, especially after what Waraka had told him three years earlier. It would be a difficult task, as the Meccan people mostly worshipped idols. The Qurayshi people, people who were part of the tribes in Mecca, were also amongst those who worshipped idols. If the Prophet went to preach to them, he would put himself in danger. So. He started small. He started with his beloved wife, Khadija radiallahu anha. She was the first convert. Muhammad went on to preach to the rest of the Meccans, converting more and more and more of them. He had developed a small group of Muslims now. Among them was his cousin, Ali radiallahu anhu, who was the second person to convert to Islam. Also amongst them, was Muhammad's best friend, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, a courageous and generous man. The Prophet taught the new converts about Islam in secret, mostly about purifying their souls. They also used to pray, but not like praying nowadays. Now, we have five daily prayers. Fajr, Tahr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. Back then, they used to pray only two prayers, sunrise and sunset only. The Qurayshis had soon learnt about the secret preaching that Muhammad was doing, but they didn't pay that much attention to it because he was not disrespecting Qurayshis' religion. Soon after, Angel Jibreel had come again to reveal new commands from Allah. It was the command to spread the message of Islam to everyone, including the Qurayshis.